Hi guys, it's Paul from It's Just Cricket and an Alex Hales special bat, um, as the opening shot probably gave away there. Uh, time to review the Predator 3 Hailstorm from Grey Nichols, brand new for 2017. Um, very interesting bat this one. Um, obviously Hales' is name in, in the title. Um, it's the bat he uses. Uh, I think it's a very similar profile shape, possibly not identical. Um, I'll go on record and saying I, I, I think there are maybe a couple of subtle changes, but it's, it, it's similar for sure. Um, this bat instantly has been sold and oiled, ready to be knocked in for the customer. That's why it looks a bit darker, in case you're wondering. Um, it's grade one plus English willow, very top grade, 10 grains on this piece, uh, very nice and clean. Of course, it's part of the Predator range, brand new for 2017. I've reviewed some other Predator bats recently. Uh, when I say brand new, it's kind of brought back, um, an old favourite brought back um, from Grey Nichols with updated, stunning stickers, in my opinion, one of my favourites of all 2017 bats. But the Hailstorm is a completely different shape uh, to the Predator. It's just a lot bigger, basically. Look at the size of this bat. Uh, now, the starting weight on these bats, guys, is £2.10. This particular bat is £2.13, so it's one of the heavier, on the heavier side of what you can get in this shape, and it's monstrously big, as you've seen. I'm gonna prove that to you now with the caliper. Here's something I did earlier shot, 47.08 uh, millimeters the edge measurement. Uh, I'll put, lock that in for you there so you can see I, I'm not joking. The other specs are in, even more impressive, to be fair, the spine. 72 millimeters monstrously big bat everywhere um, and this is the thing it's just if you want a big bat this is obviously bigger than the other predators um, not that the predators are small bats but there you go this, the toe is knocking on 22 millimeters as well um, and there's not that much concaving either there's a little bit but there's not a huge amount um, and you know had there been Less, you know, had, had this bat been full, like really full, you'd be looking at three pound plus, I think, for sure, to achieve those kind of specs. What's interesting, I keep thinking to myself, I don't know what it is, it's either an optical illusion or just assumption because of the size and everything. I keep thinking that this is going to be a shorter blade, longer handle bat, much like the Pro Performance bat is from Grey Nichols, uh, which is quite similar in some ways in sort of weight and size and that kind of thing. But in actual fact, it is a regulation length blade and handle, um, which it, it really does surprise me. Uh, yet it picks up as though it were a shorter blade, longer handle. The pickup on this is crazily light. I don't, I don't know if it's just this particular bat or if they're all like this, but they, this feels a lot lighter than it should. It feels at least two ounces lighter than it. And it's crazy for a bat this big. Um, so, so yeah, the spine doesn't quite run down through the toes, you can see there, but it's not a duck bill. In fact, there you've got his own, the Alex Hales symbol there with his name and initials. Um, so yeah, they only make the Hailstorm in the very top grade. There's no lower grade offerings, unfortunately. Um, it's a very expensive bat as well. £399.99 is what we're selling them for. When Amos and myself visited Grey Nichols a few weeks ago to pick out this bat and, and all the others, there wasn't much of a choice, to be honest, that there was a fairly small selection of hailstorm bats. We were told uh, that we, there'd be a bigger choice in January, and when we go back there then, there may well be more, and uh, that's what we're expecting anyway. We're hoping to get a few more of these. Um, then, for you guys, um, with this already being sold, there's already been a demand, and we want to try and answer that and get some in for you. Uh, but, yeah, it remains to be seen what kind of choice there'll be. I get the impression that, that the fact that the regulations are changing, uh, Grey Nichols are very aware of that, and, and this bat in its current state will not comply with the new regulations that will be introduced next year. It's too big, the edges are way too thick, the spine is way too high. Um, so I'm wondering if they're kind of not keen to release it quite in the numbers they're initially planning with that in mind. Um, <laughs> almost fly, on the, fly under the radar a bit. And it's, it's interesting how in their catalogue there's not much information about the Hailstorm bat. They don't seem to be marketing it that much. But then the same could have been said for last year with the Cook, the cook bat, the test bat that we reviewed. Um, it's the same thing. It's almost like a, 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 play, a pro player special just shoved in the corner of the range. Yet it is an amazing bat that should be front and centre. It's, it's, it's incredible. Let's do the ping test because that's... He's probably really keen to hear what that sound. It, it is incredibly good, to be fair. 
and the toe at the base of the stickers, as always, will work our way first with the mallet and then bounce the ball on it. Quite soft, as you'd probably expect in this grade, responding really, really well everywhere. Up high, down low. Well, yeah, um, I, I'm genuinely worried that ceiling's going to fall on my head one, one of these days. With bats like this, we're threatening it so much. Um, it's a club, isn't it? I mean, you think, look how much, look how thick the edges are just at the bottom of the stickers. Look at that. And you're getting that much wood there, literally where the hailstorm stickers are. You're getting more wood at that part than you do in the middle of many other bats. It's crazy, it really is. There's just so much wood here. I can't believe it picks up so light, I really can't. Um, the handle is semi-oval, which is standard for grey nickels, and I wouldn't say it's as thick as you might expect for a bat like this. I would say it's about a medium thickness, probably do the second grip if I'm honest. I'd have one, it, certainly if I were to get the bat. Um, you've got this Zone Pro grip uh, fitted as standard. Um, Curiously doesn't have a toe guard fitted, normally they would I think, but uh, um, and no anti-scuff sheet of course, you, you can add one if you, if you were to get the bat. Um, and the bow is not as dramatic as I thought it might be, it curves a bit down low, um, but yeah, not, not, not obviously you'd think being a hitter's bat, you know, a bit of extra curvature might help, you know, clear the infields and lofted drives, that kind of thing, but this bat, with its mid-middle, the fact that it kind of pings in everywhere though, to be fair, it pings, well actually maybe mid to high, in fairness, looking at that, certainly the swell is mid to high, but with a bat like this, it's kind of irrelevant really, because you heard, it, it, the, the whole thing is a middle really, it's crazily good, it, exactly where the swell is, is not necessarily where it's going to be the best performing, and yeah, this sweet spot just goes on for miles, it's just, like I said, they are only medium to heavy weights, this one's 213, but you can't, you can get lighter, but you won't get any lighter than 210. Um, but they'll all be a minimum 40 millimeter edge. They aren't quite as big as this, always. Some of the ones we saw are around 43, 44 millimeter edges, but usually they'll be, well, they'll always be at least 40 millimeters. So they are gonna be very big bats. And like I said, if you were interested, we are going back in January. We can pick one out especially for you. If you were to pre-order one using the deposit system on our website, we'd be more than happy to do that. Hopefully you can find some similar quality to this. I'm sure we'll have some very happy customers. Uh, but yeah, I do expect very limited availability of this bat. It's one of the reasons it's priced very high. Uh, but yeah, with the regulations thing in, in place, I think it's even more. Uh, Grey Nichols are thinking, ooh, yeah, can't do that. Cut this, well, this one's not gonna be around for long. So snap one up while you can. I don't think there'll be a big window of opportunity, uh, limited as it is, but even more limited given that the regulation change coming up. Um, so there it is, guys. Pretty special bat that, the Predator 3 Hailstorm. Um, Alex hails his bat, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of this on when he comes back into the England fold, at least in the limited over stuff, hopefully that'll be quite soon, um, if he can't regain his test place. Uh, but Grey Nichols, yeah, they didn't want to do a whole range on, on a Hales bat, you know, a whole, whole range of greys, it is just this, this one. Um, and the only real resemblance with the actual Predator bats are the stickers, it is a very different shape, like I said, it, it's, it's completely unique in, the, in their range. But this, yeah, absolutely good. Just, yeah, lo lo love the bat. Um, bit of a mysterious one in many ways. I'll, I'm sure we'll find out more in January, but for now, that's all we can really give you. The Predator 3 Hailstorm. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I'll see you again soon.